Red Bull and Mercedes are currently engaged in one of the closest battles of the hybrid era. Red Bull are currently ahead, and Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton has on more than one occasion questioned the increase in performance of the Red Bull car. Many see this as an attempt to get certain upgrades on the Red Bull car to be banned, just as was the case with the flexible rear wings. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has now revealed what he thinks of this strategy, among other things, while speaking to Motorsport Total. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Marco rips into Lewis Hamilton. Marco began by responding to whether Mercedes have taken their eye off the ball this season. Not consciously, I think. But of course, if you've won the World Championship seven times in a row, you're a little more relaxed than we, who have been chasing the title since this hybrid era began. He then gave his opinion on the recent technical directive to slow down pit stops. I find the whole thing unfortunate, because quick pit stops are a part of the show. I think there are a lot of spectators who wait for the graphic of how long the pit stop was. It's part of the race, and it can be decisive for the race. He then responded to Hamilton constantly calling out the performance of the 2021 Red Bull cars. It is the number of things that are rolled up against us that is a bit astonishing. But slowly it backfires, and the media also perceive it as we see it. Namely, that in this way, you put yourself in the role of the unsportsmanlike loser. He fired another shot towards Hamilton when looking at the incidents around Turn 4 in Austria where Sergio Perez received three penalties. Turn 4 is famous. I think Hamilton destroyed Albon's career there. If Hamilton hadn't sent him out there in 2020, Albon would have won the race. Then maybe everything would have looked very different because the psyche, and that then of course developed self-confidence in a completely different way. Fast feed. Mercedes Lewis Hamilton has suggested that Red Bull are a little bit ahead at the moment. So we've got a massive challenge to try to make sure we maximum capitalise on their weak moments, if they have any, Hamilton added. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner pointed out they're not even halfway through the season. He further feels that there are so many points available with these different format races at the venues they're going to, so it's still wide open. He reiterated that a 32-point lead can almost completely vanish in one weekend. They're taking nothing for granted. Ferrari Charles Leclerc can't wait to bring back the team to where it deserves to be and fight for the title. Alpine's executive director Marcin Butkowski pointed out that their driver Esteban Ocon had two difficult races in Austria, and they are still investigating whether there are technical reasons for this. He also revealed that to remove any doubt, the team has taken the decision to make extensive changes to the car for Silverstone, including a new chassis. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has explained that the first weekend with the new sprint qualifying format brings a fresh challenge for all teams. With just a single one-hour practice session ahead of the Friday qualifying session, and the car's configuration fixed from the beginning of standard qualifying on Friday, whoever can get up to speed quickest will carry an advantage through the weekend. He added that they will be adapting their approach and running plans to ensure they are best prepared for every aspect of the new challenge. Retired F1 driver turned commentator David Coulthard has stated that it feels a bit like Mercedes have to deliver this weekend. It feels like Lewis has to deliver this weekend. This is because Max Verstappen is not scared of anyone. He's a natural born winner. He is on the crest of a wave right now, and he's not going to be phased by lots of Union Jacks. He is also really curious because Toto Wolff is clearly confident in the performance of the car. Aston Martin team owner Lawrence Stroll agrees that Sebastian Vettel had a slow start to the season but he's up to speed now. Yes, he is their most expensive man, but he is doing a great job. He also stated that bringing Lewis in is something he can absolutely imagine. It would be crazy not to want Lewis driving for you. He, however, doesn't know exactly how Lewis intended his statement about F1 being a club of billionaire sons, but it is true that it is a capital-intensive sport. Racing is definitely a very expensive business. Do you find Lewis Hamilton's conduct to be unsportsmanlike? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.